Good morning, Moreva Abotai. Bezat Shem Minha is going to be 620. This is actually going to be the last week of the early Shabbat Minyan, as we're going to be having three day Yom Tov, and then Yom Kippurim is going to be on Shabbat. So this is the last of the early Minyanim. 620 is going to be the second Minyan. And the Arachot that we were discussing, there seems to be a contradiction. Uh, something we said about three days ago versus something we said one day ago. Both of those halachot we were talking about taking shells, taking bones, and putting it onto plates. And it seems to be in Hazon Ovadia, which is Rav Ovadia Sefer, a contradiction. On the one hand, he says that when it comes to taking bones that are muktze, he says because you're putting it on a pl- plate in a temporary nature and because they're very insignificant, they're not anything expensive. So yes, it's mukse, the bones themselves, but since you held on to them because they had food on it, so even after you ate the food, you take it and you can put it onto a plate because of the fact that you're putting it onto the plate in a temporary way and that it's an inexpensive thing that you wouldn't nullify to the plate. But then later on, he says the exact opposite. He says if you take uh, shells and you take th- certain things that are mukse on Yom Tov, and you put it in a plate, before you put it into the plate, make sure that there's food there that therefore would not nullify the instrument. There seems to be a direct contradiction between the two halachot. On the one hand, he said it was permitted, and on the other he says you have to put food there in order for it to be permitted. Well, you didn't mention that in the first halacha. And uh, the commentaries uh, of Yitzchak Yosef, his son, is bothered by this question, gives various attempts to answer. It doesn't seem like there's a strong reconciliation. It seems to be that Chacham Ovadia wrote um, the, the stringency. He wrote one of the Arachot at an earlier point in time where he held a certain way. But then later on, his position changed. And what seems to be the conclusion of the Aracha is Chacham Ovadia actually seems to be lenient and holds you don't need to take a uh, different food and put it onto the plate if the matter is insignificant, if the Muktzeh is insignificant. And you're putting it on a temporary nature, like that, like the two cases I mentioned, like the bones and the and the shells of the egg. You put it in a temporary nature onto a plate. It's not considered to be bitur krim mechano under those circumstances. Baruch Adonai Amen.